We're now going to consider viscous fluids. I'm going to start with a very obvious point, which is that solids are rigid and fluids flow. So let's imagine here having a solid brick between two flat plates, and I shall imagine exerting some shear stress tau between those two flat plates. And when I do that, because this is a solid, the solid supports this shear stress tau throughout when it is in static equilibrium. And it does this because all the molecules in the solid are held together by rigid bonds. Now let's imagine replacing the solid brick with a viscous fluid such as treacle. I'm going to do the same experiment. I shall apply a shear stress to the top and a shear stress to the bottom of the two flat plates. And when I apply that shear stress, the treacle flows. The fluid cannot support a shear stress in static equilibrium. And this is because the molecules in this fluid are not held together by rigid bonds. Now as a little thought experiment, let's imagine replacing the treacle with an inviscid fluid. Now when I try to apply a shear stress to top and bottom, the inviscid fluid cannot apply any shear stress back and you would get perfect slip. Now this may seem fanciful, but look up helium at very low temperatures. One of its isotopes, helium-4, does behave like this.